In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how you can create a bump out effect for text. This is where text enlarges toward the viewer and then shrinks back to normal. It's somewhat common in television advertising these days, but if you look at the animation options you have in PowerDirector, it's not there. We'll show you how to create it anyway. So please look at the following example and then we'll show you a bit about this technique. What I'm going to do is take my title that I have on track number two. I can press the F2 function key after I highlight it or double click. Either way, I get into my title designer. And you see, I have several elements in my title in this particular case. I'm going to be doing some keyframing to simulate this effect. So if your keyframes are not available, simply click on the blue up arrow in the lower right corner. That will open your timeline keyframe mode. Now I'm going to use the word holiday first of all and make it enlarge. So I'm going to keyframe. I have my cursor here somewhere in my project. I'm going to move it to about three seconds and we'll leave it normal for that period of time. And then what I'm going to do is set a keyframe related to scale. If, I, if I'm on the object tab on the left side and I move down, I see I have a scale value and the default is a scale of 1.00, no magnification. I'm going to click on the diamond to the right of the scale value with my cursor at three seconds in and it will set that scale value at one. Nothing happens. Now let's move over a little bit and we're going to enlarge it. What I want to do is be very precise so I'm going to take my mouse and hover over my timeline when I see the ruler at the top and I'll drag to the right to enlarge it. So I'm only going to move over about three or four frames I'll click over here and what I want to do is enlarge it even more. There we go. It can't be too large because I want this to be sudden. And so I'm going to set another keyframe value and notice it still is at 1. Nothing has changed. But this one I'm going to change. I can type over the numbers or I can use the little up arrow to enlarge it. I want to do that because I want to see how big it's going to look on the screen and let's make it maybe 1.2. Then I'm going to move over for as long as I want it to be enlarged, which will be a longer period of time. And then I'll right click in the scale value and choose duplicate previous keyframe. So that will set another one at 1.2. Then I'm going to move over approximately the same distance I had before and set another keyframe by clicking the diamond, but now once it's set, I want to lower it to 1. Here I'm just going to type in the number 1, press the Enter key on the keyboard. So the word holiday will be at normal size, and then very quickly it will enlarge, and then it will stay that size, and then it will very quickly shrink. Let's click on OK, and let's play this segment and see what it looks like. Now, if I don't like the timing, if it looks like it's out there too long or too short, all I need to do is get back into my title designer. We'll go back to our holiday. And if I want it to be faster, all I need to do is move these keyframes a little bit to the left. If I want the actual movement in and out to be really tiny, I can set these really close to each other and so it will be almost instantaneous. Let's try this one and see if that looks better. I like the timing on that. So you can just adjust the positions of the keyframe to get the timing that you like. But it's a very easy way to emulate that kind of movement when you don't have that option in your animation settings in PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.